come through with Hathor, Gianna, Fran, and Josephine rounding out his favorite picks. Yeah, so Moon, I believe he has no Viva Shell. Les does have it though, so it seems like they're not really sharing the similar light dark pool, so to say. They'll be having their own pool to choose from. Now, Les is at a bit of a disadvantage. Moon can just simply pre ban Viva Shell. However, Les will have to deal with one of either Ragdoll or Gianna here. Yeah, and because it looks like Les seems to favor that like immunity comp that you talk about a lot that becomes really difficult to deal with if you don't have a ton of strippers, right? And it looks like Moon, what he usually favors other than Josephine, doesn't really have too much available in that department. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like both players, like, they're not really going with stuff like Velo Jewel, Bastet, and Amelia. So none of them are really going too immunity heavy. But Les does have a bit of a slight advantage in the immunity department, thanks to the Viva Shell there. Um, we'll be seeing how that affects Hathor coming into these matchups if they do decide to pick it. Whatever the case, I am very excited to see how they basically fare up against each other. Yeah, I think these are two very evenly matched players. Ranked 52nd is Moon right now and last 60th going into today. So this should be a really close, exciting matchup. I don't know if it's going to drag out quite as much as our last as our last match did between uh, Jack and Tomato. Those were some really, really long games there because of the tremendous sustain involved, especially with that Leona game. Um, I don't think we're going to see that here. I don't know if either player then has Leona available. I kind of suspect not. But guys, we are ready for the first game here between Moon and the last. Let's move into it. Moon on your left, Lest on your right, and, and immediate Hathor there. Yeah, so Hathor first pick is going to be prioritized here. Viva Show was banned out, Ragdoll was banned out, meaning Gianna would probably be the only Light Dark Nat 5 we're seeing from both players here. And now Gianna gets paired up with uh, Daphnis and Diana, meaning there's a lot of damage. There's that Fire Monkey now. We're banning out the Daphnis and the Antares here. We're going to pick the fran Gany combo. Uh, going for Lest here up in the top and some bombs coming out right away trying to get some damage done But the shields are there Actually, it's uh, pretty interesting because we've seen a lot of fire monkey today in the Chinese region I feel and this fire monkey pick actually does work because there are triple wind on the side of moon however Gianna bombs are going to be such a threat, and his only way of cleansing that is going to be the Fran. So, like that resist we saw, he's going to be needing a lot of those. Right, so it, it seems like it might be crucial to keep the Ventilates going onto the Fran as we typically see a lot. So you can see they're focusing down the Gany here, trying to just break him down, and we are transforming right away into the human form, and Gany does go down. Yeah, there's Dyna doing Dyna things. She was able to get a proc. Instantly taking out the Gany. So the Gany Fran combo you were talking about is not available in the match anymore. Things are not looking the best for Les right now. This Diana is about to just pew pew things one by one. All right, the pew pew can be coming through. Here we go. We're going to move into the human form where we do like to do the pew pew. And the crits are coming through. Fran barely surviving, but I think this will finish her off. Yes, it does. Yeah, this monkey has. No way whatsoever of cleansing the bomb anymore. I would say this is already GG. Moon, well played. And Lest, let's figure out what we're going to do in the next match. Yeah, absolutely. Lest might just buy a little time here to kind of think his way through what he wants to do for the next match. Uh, he might feel like he has a little bit. No, he does not. It is going to be Moon taking game number one. A quick one there over Lest. And once that Ganymede goes down, it gets real challenging. Yeah, so we saw a prime reason there why Fire Monkey is not a very dominant unit in the meta anymore. And that is because there are too many counters to him. As you saw there, even with the triple win there, which is supposed to be weak against Fire Monkey, just that Gianna being there alone with the bomb was enough to make the Fire Monkey not too much of a threat. Yeah, she's really strong right now. And we are, in fact, ready for game number two. So we're going to go. It is going to be Moon versus Lest. You know, what's kind of weird is actually in the last match, I would have liked to see a Rakuni pick. Although, I hate that pick <laughs> <No>. so much. <laughs> With the Fire Monkey, I think it's actually a really strong duo like we've seen earlier. How much did it hurt you to have to say that, Peter? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just a fairly honest person, so <laughs> whatever is true, I'll say it. But whatever the case, here we are. 
having no Viva Shell banned out, meaning Les is gonna have that with the Jemire in his combo. Very interesting. Now Moon with the Ragdoll there, he put up such a weird comp with the Juno coming in. I feel like Ragdoll was the obvious, easy no-brainer ban there. And now let's see how this Jemire affects the match. All right, exactly that Jemire gonna use his leader ability to give the speed buff over to the team for last here. What says this Oki gonna look to eventually do some Yes, he does get some stuns down there. The CC is real. He does get three members. Okay, so he landed a really nice stun onto that Sierra there. However, she's going to proc out into dotting. So both players getting their own fair share of unluckiness right now. Okeanos has another skill three. Thanks to Jemire refreshing the cool time of everyone. Now, what's something interesting to keep in mind here is that Lest, he has a lot of CC which kind of gets countered out by Juno. However, because that Sierra was not banned out, as long as she keeps proccing like that and putting bombs on the side of Moon, things are looking really bad for Moon. Yeah, it is looking pretty desperate here so far. We're focusing this Josephine down, getting a nice little critical there from the Jemire. Uh, but she is looking to try to, she does not proc there. So a lot of damage coming through onto the Sierra here, trying to focus her down as that seems to be the key unit here for Lest. Yeah, this Sierra has been proccing way too much throughout the whole match. She keeps proccing and getting those bombs laid out. In fact, she's going to take out two units in one go from that. That's how much of a big snowball that one violent proc was. And now, at this point, I feel like this should be an easy win for Lest. All right, Lest does get the stun there onto the Ganymede. And it is Juno trying to do everything she can to keep this going as that Ganymede is getting very low. Will the Sierra go down? No, she does not. She just survives. Yeah, so something interesting to keep in mind with the if Sierra goes down, does Lest have enough damage to take out Juno? Now, logically speaking, Juno could be able to solo this, but I feel like Juno's heal is so insignificant that it's going to be really tough for Moon to try to pull off a 1v3 here. All right, we are getting desperately low on that Ganymede. Doing a few attacks here. Here comes the final blow. In fact, the Gany goes down. Now can that Juno do what you said? Solo this okay. in a 1v3. Some decent damage and the stun coming through. Yeah, she just stunned twice in a row. And the most ideal Juno for a 1v3 scenario would be a Juno on Despair Revenge. And that's exactly what he has. And Juno, she is popping off. All right, we're going to need some procs here for Lest. Otherwise, Moon wow. might just 1v3 this. The stuns are coming wow. through. So much damage here done by this Juno. The Despair RNG is real. She's procced out like four times in a row now. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the rarest thing possible. We actually got to see a Juno 1v3. <laughs> Incredible stuff there. I mean, those stun procs. I think it was like four in a row in there, if I'm not mistaken. That yeah. was crazy. Yeah, it kept revenging, kept healing thanks to Hathor putting debuffs on it. That was just so, so good. The ideal RNG happened for him, which resulted in the Juno soloing. So I bet you Lest is a bit tilted right now. Uh, Lest has got to be tilted. Moon goes up 2-0 on top of that, making this match point here possibly for Moon. Let's find out if he can do it. This is game number three. <laughs> that was that was fun. That yeah. was that was good. I like that. Seeing a character 1v3 like that, super exciting. Yeah, um, I hope he doesn't pick it again, though, just off of the hype of last game, how she performed so well because Juno is usually a unit that does not perform that well. I do think she might be needing another buff. Whatever the case, here we are, and he took my advice. Moon does not pick up the Juno. Thank you very much. Lest, opting for the extra damage through Perna there. However, it's immediately gonna get banned out because Moon doesn't want that damage in there. Yeah, of course, we're gonna be taking Vanessa here for Lest to give himself the beginning advantage, get his attack bars up and going quicker, and trying to already focus down that Antares. Yeah, so right now, this Diana is looking pretty damn free. If this Diana keeps getting to move however she wants, things are going to get real bad for Lest real fast. So what he needs to do is somehow take something out with the Vanessa armor break and also keep things locked down with the Josephine. However, the Triana pick is just going to counter that exact purpose. Right, exactly. So what will wow. be the focus here? And oh boy. 
Oh boy, is yeah, there the pew she pew. Goes. The pew pew is real. Here it comes. Fran is down. Of course, she will be revived, but she is very, very weak coming back. Yeah, I mean, this Diana, she's getting the procs, and the Antares too gets the proc. Oh, but Fran survives. Oh no, just enough. So wow, this... another proc into oh, a healing too. Oh my two. god. Now, something to keep in mind though is that Yanni did ventilate the Vanessa, so even if Fran went down, she would have came back. But whatever the case, absolutely tilting whenever Fran procs and, you know, she does that, right? Third yeah. skill into second. Oh, it's, it's just the most tilting thing to just think you've got that Fran dead. But what's, like you said, with that ventilate from the Gany, she's back once again because the passive oh, another is back. And, oh, my gosh. And down goes Antares here. But Fran will maybe go down. No, she's so close. Oh boy, that was so gross. So what happened there was Fran was able to proc and basically she has a multi-hit. It allowed her to finish off the Antares through the tree on the passive. And now Lest is actually looking to be in a pretty decent spot here. Yeah, it looks like he might have a chance. Now Diana is still up and running here. She's getting provoked and wow. stunned down. She goes down from the Josephine. This is looking desperate for Moon. Yeah, I mean, Moon right now, basically what he needs to accomplish here is he needs less to stop rocking so that his Gianna can start to lay out some bombs, the Triana can lay out some healing, but oh man, that's gonna be too much. No, this is looking to be about it for Moon here. He does in fact tap out, so Lest able to avoid the clean sweep here. He does take game number three. Once again, this is a best of five, so the first to win three games will be the one that moves on to the finals and last able to turn it around there in game number three, Peter. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that I didn't see a 3-0 stomp. It's really nice to see him make a comeback there and show him, hey man, I can counter you too. So now I'm very excited to see if this game four will lead us into a game five or will Moon show us something crazy that completely shuts out Lest. Yeah, I'm really excited to see it. Of course, we want a game number five, but first, we have to play game number four, Moon versus Lest. All right, Fran's just banned this time. We're, we're, we're done with that, and Gianna as well. So yeah. quickly, <laughs> Vanessa being picked, and then Josephine and Hathor here for Lest. Uh, excuse me, Moon. Yes, and now Lest, he's going to go ahead and pick up the Viva Shell. He does not have to deal with the Gianna this game because he pre-banned it. However, the Ragdoll is there, so I believe Les is most likely going to ban the Ragdoll. That is a go-to ban for most people. However, he just bans the Triana, meaning that he's confident enough in his Viva Shell to one-shot the Ragdoll with the combo. Okay, let's see if he can pull that combo off. Getting the oh wow, that is Ooh. a very weak Josephine there. Yeah, um, so the thing to keep in mind here is I really like Lest's combo here. What he just did was he increased the cool time of Josephine and pushed back the um, attack bar of her, setting it to zero, meaning Viva Show was able to get off the most ideal skill three there. However, the Josephine is still hanging on, most likely gonna go down soon though. Yep, there she goes. Ganymede will be finishing her off. We're getting the immunity buffs coming in here from the Viva Shell and uh, resisting that one. Another resistance there. Big resistance is coming in from Vanessa. Yeah, um, Ager, what, until he gets that skill three off, he can't really land anything through the immunity on Vanessa right now. But Hathor right now, she's just going to go ahead and lay out the sleeps. Um, and then Ager's going to be laying out the DPS onto Vanessa. All right, here we go. Now we're getting the DPS coming through. Like you said, that immunity was there. So now we can start trying to wreak some havoc. The penalty coming through. We're going to get that continuous damage as we focus this Vanessa down. All right, now here comes Harmonia skill three. It's going to balance the HP of Vanessa and Ager, meaning Ager's gonna look very unhealthy now, while Vanessa looks very healthy. And the crit into Arbor Break into Prog. Jesus Christ. Oh, he just gets blown up there. Now we've just got the Hathor and the Ragdoll left here for Moon. This is looking very good. Once again for Lest, looking to push us into that game number five, the Hathor getting beat up. Oh my gosh, the Hathor does survive for now, but only that that sweet dream available, and she is able to get the sleeps there. Man, I really hate that, you know, Hathor is just stalling time with that skill three. I hate it when that happens. She just procs into it. 
Um, right now, Ragdoll is going to get to dish out a lot of damage that normally he would not have been able to get out for free. It would have been getting all cleansed up and healed up. However, that crit out of Viva Shell was so huge. Wow, and it is a almost dead Ragdoll here. Moon letting it go down to the end, and Lest will win this to take it to a game number five. It is all tied up 2-2. Two, two. Lest is able to turn that around with those harpies. The harp playing a little, little tune for us here. Yeah, I mean, those tunes proved to be deadly because you saw Viva Shell skill three after the Ganya skill three. You saw how devastating that was. Josephine instantly became one HP right since the beginning. That's it's crazy. Yeah, that's Th such a good it's combo. It's just maddening. And I mean, when, you're, when you've got that Josephine who you're relying on, it, 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 when she's not there, well, what do you got? What do you got? You got nothing. Yeah, so I'm really glad that Les is firing back with this super, super smart combos. Now, this is the game five. Who is going to come out ahead? I have no idea yet, so. I don't know. I mean, it felt like Moon was just going to dominate it, but Les has come back with two wins of his own. So we're going to jump into this deciding game number five, Moon versus Les. All right, so this time the Viva Chell does get banned as well as the Ragdoll. So we were sick of the Viva Chell shenanigans. We're gonna see something a little different this time. Yeah, so Les right now, he picks up his Gany combo again here. Let's see what he decides to pair with the Gany. So far he has three support-ish type of units with it, while Moon has a very threat-heavy lineup. Les definitely needed a threat for the last pick. He puts in the Entourage, which does not get banned, meaning this Diana is going to be kind of useless. All right. He didn't want to see the the, the Gany there. He didn't want to see that Ventilate combo coming through here. We're going to Purify and Cleanse right off the Vared. Uh, the Provoke does come through, though. Yeah, so right now, um, things are really, really looking bad for Moon in the sense that he doesn't have too much damage on his side unless Vanessa can land the armor break and he would need to gamble with the Diana transforming. But it doesn't really seem like he's getting that opportunity right now. So far it hasn't come through for him. We're gonna try to focus down this Diana to never give her the opportunity to do this. But there is that armor break and the bombs are coming through onto the Fran. Yeah, so the Fran procced out of her own immunity, which is very good for Moon because now she is exposed. However, Fran being the unit she is, she's just gonna cleanse everything and put up that skill three again. Just Fran things there, and we continue to focus down this Diana. We do get the shield up on her, trying to buy a little bit of time. Some stuns coming through here, though. Three big stuns, and Diana's down, but passive does allow her to revive. Yeah, I mean, this is looking even worse for Moon right now. You can see how much work this Fran is putting in. She is literally keeping everything alive and intact. On is gonna proc and just shut out the Diana, man. And, and this is even without Ganny oh, the Ventilator. And she again. Oh my God, <laughs> who needs Ventilate? But she just proc all day. The Verity is getting low here. But Triana, man, just gonna heal it up. Friend again to full HP. I'm done. I, I bet Moon is done with this right now too. <laughs> he, Moon has just gotta be shaking his head right now. Like, what can I do? It is looking dire here. Down goes oh, Gianna. Another proc from Friend. He's tilted for sure. Yeah, but you can see he just taps out. The tilting does it. It is three in a row here for Les. The reverse sweep to take game number five and the match, guys. That was. An incredible set there, but we need to take a break. We will be back with our finals. It will be Jack versus Lest here at the Summoner's War World Arena Championship 2019 China Regional. Stick with us. Welcome back everyone to the SWC 2019. This is the China Regionals. We are here for the finals. It will be Jack versus Lest. Both of them playing very, very strong here to make it to the finals. I'm really excited for this. I'm Paper Thin. This is Peter. Peter, Lest just reverse sweeped. He's gotta be feeling good. 
Yeah, I mean, Les, he's got that adrenaline running in him from just being one match away from basically losing it all and all of a sudden turning it and into his favor. And now he might even get the first place cash prize. Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a look at the bracket and see how today has shaped up. So you can see here, we were just talking about, we just had the semifinals where last reverse sweep moon for that 3-2. And then Tomato gets upset in a big 3-1 here by Jack to push us into our finals. And guys, keep in mind, the winner of this is the only one who will move on 